Hi, for those that don't know me, I'm Bruce, and this is the Ford 9700 that we're going to take the head off because the valves aren't closing. We don't know if it's the push rods or the valve lifters themselves, but we also have a leaky head gasket, so we're going to have to take the whole thing apart. We're going to have to obviously take this off, take the air breather, take the exhaust off so that we could take this gas tank off and then we're going to be able to disconnect this um, intake here which i've started doing and as you can see all these bolts are off so i'm going to remove this and then we're going to take the gas tank off and then we're going to be able to lift up the gas tank and then take a look at the head we're going to disconnect the head and then take the head completely out so we can change we can change the uh, head gasket over here and at the same time we'll look at the valve lifters and we'll also take a look at the uh, we'll take a look at the push rods so this is where we are so far the next thing coming off is going to be this intake we've already taken loosened all the um, fuel injections and uh, fuel injection lines and so this is ready to come off okay so as you can see the intake manifold has been removed it looks pretty big but it's not really heavy at all so I'm gonna go ahead and sandblast all this stuff to make sure it's really super clean and uh, appears that there was a plug here for water and man this stuff's dirty so we're gonna have to do something about that next thing to do is I want to make sure that these injectors are protected when we lift the head so I'm gonna try and take the injectors off and at that point then we're gonna to start to remove all the other items so that we can uh, nah you know what I think what I want to do is start working on the exhaust. Let me go over and work on the exhaust and see how that goes. Okay, so on the exhaust side, we have to take these items off here. So we've been putting penetrating oil on these nuts. I'm pretty sure they're going to break, but we still need to try and get them off. So um, what I'm going to try and do next is get these items here separated. Okay, so we put penetrating oil on these uh, bolts for three days now, and I just can't believe that they're coming off just like that. I mean, well, this puppy might not. That one won't. Okay, so there's a couple I can't get to, so I'm going to have to take these items off. So let's take a look and see. Bomb socket. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting ready to take this top off. Thank you. 
So there's a rubber grommet on here is stopping me from taking the top off. So I got to go get some more tools to take it off. Once it comes off, the whole top will slide over the exhaust pipe because right now the exhaust is really stuck to the uh, to the pipe that we see in here. Okay, so the top is off. So next is I'm going to take the gas tank off. Four bolts and a tube over here and of course underneath there's a shut off valve so i'm going to shut that off and take the hose off of there hopefully hopefully the gas tank is empty okay it sure looks different with a lot of this stuff off of course this came off well and all the other pieces came off what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these side rails off and i take this piece here off also so that we have clearance in case we need it this piece here is going to have to come off because there's two bolts that are holding that. Well, then we can really come into uh, breaking the bolts. The this fan is going to have to come off, and I think there's another bracket that's holding here and the alternator on the other side. Let's see. This bracket here needs to come off it'll take the fan off and of course this will come off so we're moving along pretty good uh, the air wrench sure makes a big difference and of course I'm going to be taking these um, fuel injectors off okay progress so far I managed to take off the uh, fan the alternator and I had great luck taking out all of the injectors what I did was I wedged a uh, I wedged a uh, punch in there and kind of moved it a little bit and then rocked it back and forth put a lot of uh, penetrating oil and then took a big wrench like this and moved them back and forth until I could actually get the uh, fuel injectors out I'm going to be taking off this bar here and the one on the other side and I have to take this off. The reason I'm doing that is I'm, I have a feeling that I won't be able to lift it completely straight because it's such a small clearance with the water pump and I really don't want to take the water pump off. So what I'm going to do is when I lift it, hopefully you can just push it to the side and then lift it out that way. So with that, I'm going to have to take that bar off and this bar off. Uh, the other thing I was going to point out was that when I started doing some of the gaskets, uh, there's this sludge in all of the water ports so you know it's a good thing this thing's coming off because there's a lot of junk that's going to be cleaned out when I go ahead and sandblast this okay so the arms are away the hoses and pipes are away so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rocker arm off and at that point, I'll take all of the push rods out, and at the same time, I'm going to loosen these head bolts. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and plug all the holes, and I'm going to take the power washer, and I'm going to clean up on the inside, because I'm never going to get this chance again. Okay, so the rocker arm is free, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be marking the position. So I'm going to put a 1 over here, one of those scoring tools, so I know where the number 1 is. And as I'm taking these bolts out, first of all, uh, it's not supposed to look like that. There's water in the oil, obviously. And so I'm going to have to, what I do is I'm going to mark each one of the heads here with a number. And then as I take the arms off, the push rods on the other side, uh, where is it? One of these guys, I'm going to be marking intake and I'm going to be marking exhaust. So we'll know exactly which arms are the exhaust ones, which ones are the intake ones. Okay, so the last thing for today is I'm going to plug all these holes and I'm going to run the power washer on here. Uh, I want to get stuff like that clean. You know, all these old cracked hoses, while I've got them exposed like they are, I'm going to definitely change them. The, um, you know, this is, this is an intake so the push rod here was is an intake and that one's an exhaust because it's close to the exhaust part 
uh, not to worry because what I've done is I've taken baggies and I've labeled each push rod intake and outtake and each baggie has a number on it so when time comes to make sure the right push rods are in the right spot it'll be easy okay so I've got everything plugged in I'm not going to push water against here, I'm doing it all around, but my main concern is to get things like this and areas that I could never get to because the pieces were in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and do a fast pass with the power washer and see how we do on this side. Uh, well, of course, you know, we have some pieces here on the ground that I'm also going to power wash. And, you know, over here where you, I couldn't get back with uh, pieces in the way I'm going to go ahead and power wash that too.